Welcome to Reflections for any and all who want just a little bit of church. This week, our gospel reading shifts from the message of repentance shared in Jesus's teachings the last two weeks to a message of honoring Jesus with gifts whenever we are in his presence or seek his presence. Enjoy. A reading from John's Gospel. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave him a dinner. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. He said this, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Here ends the reading. While some might focus this week on Judas and or the coming of Jesus' death and burial, I want to focus on Jesus and Mary and Martha. In my mind, there are few New Testament readings where my senses are tweaked as much as this week. Mary uses a pound of perfumed nard to anoint Jesus' feet. The moment reminds me of my mom's perfume and what it meant to me as a child. The smell was intoxicating and was what I smelled when I was about to get a hug or be loved. Jesus, too, wants to be loved and not just respected as a healer and a teacher and a miracle worker. While he models love, he too wants to smell and fully sense the best of loving words and actions. And I can only imagine him loving Mary's actions no different than I loving my mom's embrace. Jesus feels what we all call home when he visits the homestead of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, and all of his senses are brought to life with the meal Martha served and the perfume Mary lavished on Jesus. I recommend then that this week you sit in your favorite couch with Jesus next to you and remember your favorite smells, special family holiday dishes cooked up by parents or grandparents include smells that fill my nostrils and my memory bank with happiness. These are the smells of home. So too are the perfumes of favorite women in our lives. Moms, aunts, grandmothers, and spouses. Imagine your favorite smells and then breathe in slowly and deeply. And then Pivot and imagine those same women in your memories feeding Jesus those special aroma-filled dishes and or embracing him with perfume in the air. Imagine the raw joy of Jesus' face as he eats your favorite dishes and beams with delight in smelling your memory's favorite perfumes. I love to see Jesus reacting lovingly to these smells that are meant for his pleasure and in his honor. 
So as we enter the final weeks of Lent, I recommend that we regularly sit with Jesus next to us and find ways to lovingly stimulate his senses. Play for him your favorite music. Imagine feeding him your favorite food. Imagine hugging him like a child hugs their grandparent with one of those never let go hugs. Imagine going to eye to eye close up with him, giving him one of those I love you looks that is never forgotten. For Jesus, the man who sits with us whenever we want is about to go through the pain of being a man on a cross who suffers and dies as a result of all of us and then is resurrected from the dead. Wouldn't you like to give Jesus all sorts of gifts before his gift of crucifixion and resurrection? He is the greatest giver of gifts. This time is our chance to give him gifts like Mary and Martha. Let's do it. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This week, my music choice is Blake Shelton and Michael Buble singing Home. As you listen to it, close your eyes and smell all of your memory's favorite scents in your favorite times at home. Amen. <laughs> 